I've been taking creatine for over three years now and it's changed my muscles and my mind. Today, I'll share my journey on creatine, how I started it, how I maintained it, and even what happened when I stopped taking it. The first thing is what is creatine? The biggest thing that I've learned is that it's the most studied and safest supplement out there. A great website to check out is examine.com, which shows all the research on every supplement. And the second thing is that creatine is found in pretty much most of the foods that we eat, like red meat, seafood. So you're probably already ingesting it. However, the amount of red meat that one would have to eat in order to get the amount of creatine. Supplementing with it just means you're taking in more creatine. Now, I know it's pretty popular among the weightlifting community, strength and power, because it can help increase muscle mass and even improve your reps and strength at the gym. And that's personally why I started it. And now there's a lot more talk where it can help your overall cognition, boost your energy levels, and potentially help with endurance sports. Later, I'll talk about how I feel and the differences that I've noticed personally by just taking it over time. Now, how do you take creatine? So there's a very common concept of a creatine loading phase. and the reason reason for that is you need to hit something called full saturation to maximize the benefits of creatine. So some people say that you should be taking 10 grams of creatine for the first couple weeks, and then you can switch to like a maintenance dose, which is typically around five grams. There's multiple arguments around this. Sometimes it can cause like gut issues. So people just recommend doing the basic five gram dosage over time. And it just takes longer to achieve full saturation. We now know there's no need to so-called load creatine. In the Personally, I've never really done the loading phase. I just do the five gram dosage for the most part. And instead of two weeks, it might take a month to hit full saturation. Next is the actual maintenance dose. So for the most part, I've personally taken about five grams, but I started to hear talks around Huberman and how you should actually adjust the dosage based on body weight. Because most of the studies were done, I think with like 170, 180 pound men. If you weigh 185 pounds or so, okay, plus or minus five pounds, out to about 250 pounds, 10 to 15 grams of creatine per day is probably more appropriate for you than is five grams. And if you're somebody who weighs, you know, 180 pounds, down to say 130 pounds, five grams of creatine per day is probably sufficient. And since I'm a bit larger in the 200 plus range, I was like, let's increase the dosage. So there was a time period, maybe a couple months where I was actually taking 10 grams as my maintenance dose just to see what would happen. Some do recommend taking actually less. So if you are a smaller body weight, maybe you can get away with a 2.5 gram dosage versus the five gram maintenance dosage. So that is kind of up to experimentation, run some calculations on your body weight, try different things, see how your stomach feels, see how your body feels and adjust accordingly. And know that you're also getting it from your diet. So that five, 10 gram dosage of supplement could also be based on how much red meat and seafood you're also having. So someone who's maybe vegan and doesn't eat those foods is going to have less creatine in their diet and thus supplementation is actually going to create a bigger impact on them. A big thing with taking creatine is also adherence to actually taking it. You want to stay consistent. I know some people say don't take it with caffeine, like it could cause upset stomach. But for me, it's like make sure you take it every day. If, if the only time is in the morning and you need to put it in your cup of coffee, it's better than not because you want to maintain your daily dose. Really doesn't matter when you take that creatine. You could take it post-workout as many people do. You could take it pre-workout. And there are a variety of ways to take it. You can do the powder, which will be the cheapest. There's pills and there's gummies. Obviously, the easier it is to consume, the more expensive it's going to be. But remember, creatine monohydrate is the basic one. You don't need anything fancy. Creatine monohydrate is the most effective form. Fortunately, creatine monohydrate is also the least expensive form of creatine that's sold out there. I prefer to just pour some in a cup of water and then just chug that cup of water and be done with it. Now, what about the risks? So if you read Reddit or any other website, people talk about hair loss. And it seems that most of these studies are pretty inconclusive. There hasn't been a side that's kind of won, but the theory is that taking creatine can increase DHT, dihydrotestosterone, which then causes hair loss. For me, I have had a lot of hair loss, as you can tell from taking all this creatine. So take it for what it is. And what works for me might not work for you. I would just recommend keep an eye on your hair as you start to supplement with more creatine. Now, funny personal story. Three years ago, I actually lived somewhere else. So let's go see it. So a thousand days ago, I used to work right there and live right there. And that's pretty much where my YouTube journey started. And my first roommate was actually Brian Yo. right here. Ah, Brian and I wearing all black outfits. Go baby. <laughs> Starting up production. Why? What do you need to do more often? You need to touch this guy more. I think you're touching this. You need some concert photography jobs or just like photography or video jobs in general? We do actually. Oh, you take Apple Pay? Cool, 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 cool. Here you go. Guess I'm coming back to New York. This is our new Swipe Up Studios uh, HQ. Office all set up.
Brian has helped me film my videos since I had like a thousand subscribers and I wanted to give back to him. So I called in my friends at Momentus. I'm, I'm like speechless now. Thank you Momentus for sponsoring this video. Now, whenever I buy supplements, I always buy them from Momentus because I know they have some of the highest quality supplements and every production match is double third party certified by NSF Sport and Informed Sport. So I know if you're a competitive athlete, it's guaranteed banned substance free. For me, I've noticed cognitive and athletic performance improvements because of creatine and Momentus provides an easy way to either buy it once or be on a monthly subscription for an effortless experience. Not only that, it's also expert verified. Dr. Andy Galpin, who I actually met once, said it's actually absurd how effective creatine is, and I couldn't agree more. So I want to thank Momentus for helping make this happen. And if you do plan to buy creatine or any kind of supplement, go click the link in my description. Use code Shervin for a 15% discount. It all helps support the channel. Wait, is this like really mine? Or is this for the thousand days? It's for you. Oh, it's like legit for me. Brian was there when I first started my YouTube journey and today I wanted to give back to Brian by giving him hey. a brand new watch because he's always been asking for a watch, right? So this is sponsored by Momentus. I want to thank Momentus for helping make this happen. Use my discount code Shervin down below. Click the link in the description so we can keep gifting out cool watches to all my friends. All right, we're back. So what about my results and how I felt taking creatine? There's a couple things that I noticed. One, when I was taking creatine while doing heavy weightlifting and some endurance sports, two was when I was taking creatine and I actually got lazy and I stopped working out and there are two different sensations. So when I was weightlifting a ton, this is subjective, but I did notice a faster recovery time. I was able to get back in the gym quicker and I just felt like I had a slightly elevated energy levels. I felt like when I do a lot of weight training, I tend to feel exhausted the rest of the day. So when I started taking creatine, it kind of helps keep me at maintenance mode and I wasn't like falling behind and being too tired. I did feel bulkier, like I just felt much, much bigger. Um, it could just be water retention from the creatine. It could be the combination of staying adherent to my workouts, showing up and then supplementing with creatine that allowed me to just look and feel bigger. Now, what happened when I stopped weightlifting? There's definitely bouts where I just got kind of lazy and I would stop working out, but I tried to maintain taking creatine so I could stay at that full saturation. And the biggest thing that I noticed was that my energy levels were actually higher than average. My baseline was slightly above. It wasn't like crazy energy, but I felt like when I was taking creatine, I had slightly better focus. I just felt more energized and I felt a little bit higher than my typical baseline. The one thing that people are starting to talk about is how creatine can actually be good for your brain as well. Creatine helps support your phosphocreatine, which helps support ATP. And as we know, ATP equals energy in an oversimplified form. So like when I'm sleep deprived, when I have to think a lot, I did notice that creatine was kind of helping my baseline energy levels. Wait, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you wanna see future videos. Now remember, if you do plan to buy creatine, do not buy anything from Amazon. That'd be my rule number one. Rule number two is just get creatine monohydrate. You do not need to get anything fancy, complex, all these random things. Do not buy those. Get a cheap creatine monohydrate. My favorite is Momentus. There's a link down below. Use code Shervin to save 15% and it helps support the channel. Now, if you look at my body weight here, you can see that over time, as I tracked it on Apple Health, my body weight has drastically increased. I think I've gained 20, 30 pounds over the last few years. Now, was that purely creatine? No, it's a lot of nutrition, right? Making sure I'm eating the right foods, a lot of strength training, adherence to my workouts and showing up, and then also supplementation on top of that. But you need to make sure the foundational pillars are also there. So yes, I've been working out, but I've also been taking creatine and my body weight and muscle mass has increased. Now, side effects. Have I experienced any side effects? Personally, I haven't had any stomach issues. I do sometimes feel a bit more bloated when I'm taking creatine. I do try to make sure that I'm drinking more water when I'm on it. I was getting a little bit more more cramping I think on some days and I think that's just because I was drinking not enough water but I can't really connect the two other than that personally I have not had any major side effects remember to follow me on all the socials at Shervin shares on X Instagram Strava everything and another thing is I stopped taking creatine actually for the past like two months and my body weight has stayed the same. So I haven't lost too much weight. I'm doing a lot more running and I'm lifting maybe instead of four times a week, only three times a week. So I've maintained my current body weight. I've stopped taking creatine. I do feel slightly more tired, but I've been okay. I've wanted to experiment to see what would happen. I haven't noticed any drastic strength changes just because I've done a little bit less strength work. But overall, I still kind of look... Eh, maybe I'm a little smaller than usual, but I don't feel as puffy. Maybe that's the one thing. Do I plan to start taking creatine again? Yes. I've just been a little bit lazy, but thank you to Momentus for sending me some new packs so I can start supplementing again. Use code Shervin if you do plan to buy them. And remember, 
The most important things when it comes to gaining muscle, improving your endurance is sleep, nutrition, and adherence to training. Supplementation comes last. If you're not getting those first three right, it does not matter if you take creatine or not. So make sure you check those boxes off. If you're not getting enough sleep per night, creatine is not going to change that. Since you enjoyed this video, make sure to go watch my video where I tested testosterone supplements and did blood work before and after or to be linked right here.